Welcome. In this video, we're going to create a simple uh, mobile friendly web page with uh, Dreamweaver CS6 utilizing jQuery Mobile. Uh, I need to mention that if you lack background in HTML, I would highly recommend the Code Academy track for HTML, which can be found uh, at this uh, website. So it is uh, codeacademy.com slash tracks slash web. Now back to our uh, exercise. So we will first create a new blank HTML file in Dreamweaver. Now the first thing that I'd like to do uh, is to properly indent the code so that it is uh, readable. So this is what I'm doing right here by hitting the uh, tab space after having chosen the part of the code that I would like to indent. And since the uh, page that uh, I'm going to create is the about page for uh, the mobile website and later on the mobile app, I'm going to give it the title of uh, about. Now first uh, we will create the structure for jQuery mobile and jQuery mobile's architecture uh, requires to create a page. We do that by using the div tag and by uh, utilizing the data role attribute and by giving it the value of page. We see that Dreamweaver CS6 uh, handily um, gives us a short list of the attributes and values uh, that I can use. Next, as with every page, we will uh, add We'll create, I should say, a header, content, and a footer, and we do that again by using the div tags and the appropriate data role attributes. So first, we're going to create a header. And then we're going to create content. And finally, again, another div tag for the footer. It's going to properly indent that. So uh, this is the uh, basic structure. And, and now we will add the content. As I said, since uh, my page is going to be the about page. Uh, I'm going to add that to the header. I have already the content in a different file. I have this paragraph which I'm going to cut and paste on the content. And finally for the footer I'm going to give it the name of the app which is the code of the course which is PR8. Now if I uh, try to preview with a multi-screen preview uh, here, which is uh, available at Dreamweaver CS6. Well, we see that, uh, oh, I had to first save it. So let me just uh, save it at the desktop as about HTML. And let's try to preview it right now. Well, we see that uh, the content does not look at all uh, mobile friendly. That is because we haven't actually included the jQuery mobile libraries. Now, uh, to do that, uh, I'm, I have the links right here in a different document, so I'm going to cut them and paste them within the head tags. I'm just going to make sure to, again, properly indent it so that it's nicely readable. And as you can see, I have uh, pasted, I've cut and pasted the jQuery CSS file, the jQuery mobile CSS file, the jQuery JavaScript file, and the jQuery mobile JavaScript file. And I took these links from uh, the codica.com website for the project that we created uh, in the first uh, class. So if I try now to preview, you see something which is somewhat 
a little bit more mobile friendly and actually uh, one thing that we need to add is, an, uh, is a header tag usually that's the h3 tag in order for uh, uh, I could do that in that way in order for the header to have that nice uh, look so you see that I by adding the head uh, the header 3 on the header on the data role header attribute it gets this nice look and I also need to do that for the footer in order for jQuery mobile to render it into this nice look so if I preview it right now I see a page that indeed looks mobile friendly now to sum up uh, what we did is we added basically four div tags one with uh, the data role page within that div tag we added a header a content and a footer then we added the actual content that we had we wanted to have in our header content and footer and finally we made sure to link to the java to the jquery uh, libraries